Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you? On this chilly Tuesday afternoon, it's, uh, what time is it here? It's 10 to 3. Um, yeah, a little, well, I was going to say a little late, but I'm all over the place with these videos these days. So anyway, how are you all doing today? It's, uh, was it minus 18 today with the wind chill? I started my car this morning and it barely started. So... I had to uh, drop a friend off at the mechanic and then I just came straight home and have been working away with all my little projects on the go. So today's bag's already listed and it's a really cool bag. I am not really, um, I'm not going to say I'm a big fan because I think this bag is very classy looking. I prefer much softer bag but I know there are those of you out there who love structured bags and structured I mean you know they're very one shape because they're a salt like more of us uh, like a, the Safiano leather which is all over the place with um, Michael Kors, Kate Spade um, Coach isn't real I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I think that's why I, I like Coach's leather so much is because it's all soft. I don't think I've seen Coach with Safiano leather. That's interesting, actually. But the trend seems to be a more structured bag, even in the bags that aren't leather. You know, I see the Guess and the Aldo and the David Jones and Hilary Radley, although some of her stuff is leather. Um, it's... Yeah, it just seems to be the style right now and not my thing at all. But this bag is really cool. It's kind of like a briefcase style bag. But there's some fun stuff going on with this. So first of all, it's this kind of mock croc. Now, I've been noticing on my videos that they're not very clear. And I'm not sure why that is. They're not, um, it just seems a little grainy. Uh, I don't know if you're experiencing that or maybe it's just my camera. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I'm trying to do these close-ups with you. Even yesterday with that amazing beaded bag. Like, I really wanted you to see the details of the straps. And I'm not, like, I'm looking at it and it's clear as anything. But it doesn't seem to be transferring in the video to that. So... I am aware of that if that's an issue because I know for myself if there's any background stuff going on or I, I can't be bothered watching that. So anyway, back to the bag. So hopefully you can see this. It's this beautiful caramel color mock croc leather kind of briefcase style bag. That was a lot to cover in that last uh, little phrase there. But it... Now, my understanding was this was for an umbrella, but then I, I tried to put an umbrella in it and it didn't fit anymore because the umbrella obviously needs, you know, so I'm not sure what this is for, but here it is. So I don't know if any of you out there can tell me what this would routinely be for. I just presumed it was an umbrella. There's a little, uh, little secret pocket here and it goes to about there. So, you know, you can get a set of keys or um, a bus pass or, you know, your debit card or whatever in there. Top handle, and then it does have um, hooks or eyelets or whatever you want to call that for a crossbody strap. The crossbody strap was missing. I've added one. Now, the one I added wasn't leather. And to be honest, I was cleaning it and it all just fell apart. So I have found a leather one. The hardware, actually, what am I talking about? I can just show it to you. The hardware is a little more brass than, I mean, it kind of, it matches that, but this is, is quite dark. But you know what? I, I'm okay with that because uh, it does match that front buckle. So... As I said, the strap that I found originally, and I mean, this color is fantastic match. Um, it wasn't leather and it literally fell apart in my hands as I was cleaning it. It just, every time I rubbed it, the top layer just, it just kind of, uh, 
rolled up underneath any of you who've had um kind of uh like man-made material bags you know what i'm talking about like they're just junk i don't know why people buy them so this is a great crossbody strap and it makes it very very nice to wear and it's good because the clasp is a downward action so when you've got it on your hip it's so easy to get into it has a pocket here a pocket here with a pocket within a pocket another compartment and then there's a zipper compartment there obviously no pouches for cell phones or anything i've listed this as a 70s bag there is no key either but as i've said in other videos i'm pretty I, I wouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't say I'm pretty sure because I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those kind of diary keys that we had back in the day. Um, I don't know. I just, you know, maybe it would work. I don't know anybody that would lock their bag because then it's just a pain in the ass to get into it. But, hey, some of you might like that feature. The, um, the bottom... This is not color loss. It looks like it's just been set on something and it's just stuck to it. There was some areas where this kind of, I don't know what you would call this. It's very thick and it's not the plastic uh, glazing that is the bane of my existence as far as my business is concerned. I can't stand that stuff. It makes a good bag look cheap. It's the first thing to crack. And if your bag is ever in heat, it'll melt. And I've experienced that with my bags. And I learned the hard way when I had a storage facility that was not climate controlled. The bags, they all melted together. And they were ruined. So now when I look for storage space, I have to make sure it's climate controlled. More so in the summer the issue within the winter sometimes moisture can get into the bags if they've been out in the cold because then condensation don't talk to me about condensation because this freaking house is gonna rain it's gonna rain in here tomorrow because the temperature is gonna go back up to three degrees i think it is so all the ice and snow around my roof will melt and it will rain in here again so that's why i didn't go to the falls because I did not want my bed to be ruined because there has been a little wet spot right. That sounds terrible. <laughs> There's been a little wet spot right above my bed. Not on my bed, right above. <laughs> Sorry, don't want to offend anybody. But these things just pop into my dirty mind every now and again. And there we go. So um, anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. Back to the bag. <laughs> So it's a great bag. There's no branding. It's a lovely size. And like that uh, beaded bag yesterday, it is just screaming for a vintage coat or something that is just going to, um, you know, keep the era going with this. And like I said, I've uh, labeled it 1970s. So it does have a couple of compartments inside, as I've just shown you. And those compartments do have a gusset. And it's just a stunning bag. I mean, it's it screams vintage. It's in excellent condition. And um, I hope somebody out there would love to carry it. Now, I've started to actually post these bags on my Instagram. I have Instagram. I've never used it. My It's Leather Bag Lady Vintage. And it literally had eight posts on it. <laughs> So there isn't going to be anything new on there. It's going to be um, all the bags that I post on Etsy. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking some pictures of my travels. And I may put some of those on there. I don't really want to do footage. Um, I don't like videoing while I'm thrifting. Um, I just, it, it uh, I don't know. I just don't feel uh, it's appropriate. I don't know. The stores don't like it. I don't want to have to whisper and all that because I have not got a whisper voice at all. So I don't want to 
ruin my thrifting experience or my estate sale experience or my yard sale experience, to be honest, because I love it. So if I have to start, you know, muting my voice and all that kind of thing, no. But I will take some pictures. That's easy enough to do. And they're easy enough to upload or download or whatever it's called onto Instagram. And I am going to look at maybe adding some videos as well because it's just another venue or avenue for people to find my Etsy shop. So um, there's not much on there right now. Uh, but as I said, Leather Bag Lady Vintage is my Instagram. And I'm going to talk about my um, Leather Bag Lady Facebook group um when we're done here if i remember because you know me by the time i get to the end of the video i'm already thinking about tomorrow or something crazy so let's do our little history piece today so today we are in the 50s this is where i don't have a lot of 40s and below but 50s and above is where my shop is um kind of at its best i have a few 50s more 60s even more 70s more 80s so you know as the trends um or as the years progress that's what i seem to be finding more of so um that you know that's kind of how we're what i'm basically saying is that i'm coming into the eras that actually match what it is I have in my store. So 1950s, post-war um, interests, post-war commonplace was to put handbags as icon status. So as they are now, I mean, a handbag is, it says all it needs to say, or people think it does, about who you are. Now, back in the 50s, when the design houses, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, um, Etienne Agnier was there, um, albeit he's not the super brand that these other um, uh, brands have become, but they were out there. Um, Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, not, maybe not even Yves Saint Laurent, I'm not sure about him, but Dior for sure, um, but Dior didn't do bags. It's just... Um, you know, it was people wanted to walk the streets and let people know what they were all about. I mean, they're walking down the street with an Hermes bag. You don't even need to talk to them. You know, that says so much about the person. Today, it could be a fake. It could be a Danier because Danier's just such a, a little stealer of uh, design. I mean, Danier's kind of naughty, actually, I think. But um, yeah, so bags ha were a thing you know your bag as it did back in the the early 16 1700s when you had your embroidered uh drawstring pouch it said you know you were a lady of means you know you had servants you had so i guess it's not really that much different is it and i think that's it so just a little short um history piece today so let me get to my Facebook page. So I mentioned it to you the other day and um, I forgot to elaborate on it. Um, I've been having a hell of a time creating a new email account, which I mean, how hard can that be? Because I forgot my password. So um, yeah, there's certain things on your phone apps that you can't do that you need to go on your laptop or desktop. Now, thank goodness I have a little laptop, which was given to me by my friend Randy. Um, it's not really in good working order. The keys stick and all kinds of things. So I do have an extra keyboard, but at least I can get in there and do some of the administrative things that the apps don't let you do. So I have a Facebook page, Leather Bag Lady, and I have a private group within that Facebook page called Leather Bag Lady Boutique. Now, you have to, I think I mentioned it before, um, it asks you to apply to join. I, anybody can join it. it. I mean, I have to okay them, but I mean, there's no criteria or anything like that. The reason I need the private group now, and I don't really, I'm just kind of running this and I don't know, maybe there's a reason I can't, or maybe I'll find out some things as we move forward. But um, I had, I used to have a friend who ran a Toonie Draw um, site 
and it became it was a lot of fun i won a bunch of stuff on it and um you know she enjoyed running it so i think i'm gonna do the same so it's not going to be toonies it's going to be called five dollar fridays so each friday um i have to work out my shipping parameters and i have to figure out how to post that so I'm not ready to launch it yet, but I'm just telling you about it because in order to be involved in it, you're going to have to join my private group on Facebook. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to list my better brands of my non uh, vintage bags. So if you're purely a vintage person, maybe now and again, I'll throw a vintage bag in there. But my vintage bags are predominantly um, on Etsy but I have hundreds and hundreds of bags that aren't vintage. And the ones that are a little bit more brand name, like my Fossils and my Roots and my Derek Alexander's, uh, Danier, Coach. I have some Michael Kors, Dooney Bork. I have, you know, bags that are daily drivers that will go on my .com. And then I have, you know, bags that are kind of special. And I've shown you a bunch of them along the way that basically... I'd like to put up as a draw item. Now, there's a bunch of reasons for this. And I'll be very honest with you because I don't want anybody to think that I'm, you know, making a million dollars here. In order to do the draw, what I will be doing is um, posting the bag, pictures of the bag, a description of the bag, and then 1 to 16. And what then happens is you will email me and let me know what or message me on the group or privately or whatever. Let me know how many of the slots you would like. One slot for five bucks, two for ten, three, you know, whatever. If you want four slots and it's 20 bucks, if you want to choose the numbers, you can choose the numbers. If you want me to randomly choose them for you, I will do that. And when the 16 uh, spots are full, I will do a draw, um, probably just, a, you know, I'll make my own uh, like bingo uh, machine. I looked into getting a bingo machine. They're ridiculously expensive. So what I was thinking of doing is just maybe going out and getting some ping pong balls, putting one to 16, and then I'll put them in a bag and I'll do a video of me drawing the numbers. So whatever number you have from the one to 16, will um, match up with the ball. So if it's number eight ball I pull, number eight is in your group of numbers or the one number you purchased, I will be sending you the bag. Now, 16 is the number that is going to make this um, doable for me because that 16 and the, um, and the I think it's $80 it, it was what it comes to, that includes your shipping. So wherever you are in North America, because I will, as Etsy, I will allow this in the States as well. Um, I'm not sure how far my reach is in the States, but you know what? I, I will put it out there, albeit that shipping has increased ridiculously this year already. They did say there would be an increase in January, but holy crap. So it will be an e-transfer for you to send uh, the money and I, my new email address that I finally figured out how to set up is uh, $5 Fridays with an S and then five on the end. Holy crap. Trying to find an email address that isn't already taken? Wow, that was tough. So you would send your e-transfer. Um, if I don't get your e-transfer by whatever the time deadline is, then your spot gets put back as available. Um, I know my girlfriend, she was chasing people for money and I won't be doing any of that. If there is, um, you know, if the deadline hasn't been met, I mean, message me if you're at work and you can't get to it or something like that. But if I'm having to chase you, it's not going to happen. And then whoever wins the bag wins the bag. And I'm planning on maybe listing three bags every Friday and they may not fill up by the next Friday, but that's okay. It just means that there's options. And that uh, Leather Bag Lady Boutique will be designated 
purely for this endeavor, this enterprise. So like I said, you have to join and every week um, I will let you know when it's starting. I still, like I said, I've got some policies, policies and procedures to finalize and figure out the best place to post them in my private group so that you everybody will see it and there won't be a million questions from everybody so um so that's kind of what's happening um yeah you know i'm not working right now people my uh part-time job is shut down and uh these are ideas that i've had for six months or so and i've been dragging my ass and there's nothing like uh, not being able to pay your mortgage to give you a swift kick up it, right? So anyway, this is a super long video. And if you've made it this far, thank you. But I will mention it again um, in the days to come, hopefully in shorter videos, because not everybody wants to sit through 20 minutes of me, let's face it. So that's it for today. Leather Bag Lady Weather Report. Freezing, freezing, freezing. I think I told you that already. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye.